Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about linear approximation. It is also called tangent line approximation or linearization of uh, functions. We know already that if a function has a tangent line at a given point, then the graph of the function looks like the tangent line when we zoom in toward the tangent point. So this is the basis of linear approximation. So we're going to use the tangent line to approximate function values when x is close to the tangent point. So in particular, in this video, we're going to estimate the following. So for example, how do we approximate this value here using linear approximation? And then next, how do we approximate the value of g of 2.02 given that g of x is equal to x times ln of x minus 1 and third we're going to derive this approximation here 1 plus epsilon quantity raised to n is approximately 1 plus n times epsilon and this is true when epsilon is close to 0 let's get started we know already that if a function f has a tangent line L at a point a comma f of a, then as you can see, the curve looks like the tangent line when x is close to a. So if you zoom in toward this tangent point here, you'll see that the function or the curve looks like your tangent line so this is the basis of linear approximation so when x is close to a we can use the tangent line or equation of the tangent line to approximate function values near a and the reason why we need to approximate the function values near a because it might be easy to compute for function value at a but it is difficult or even impossible to compute for function values when x is close to a but if you have a line it's usually in the form y equal to mx plus b then it's very easy to compute for function values so this line here is also called the linearization of this function f at x equal to a. Now let's find the equation of this line L or this linearization of this function f at a. So by point slope form of a line, then the equation of line L is what? y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x sub 1. So here we have y sub 1 equal to f of a. And then the slope of this line L is just the derivative of the function f at a. And then times x minus x sub 1 is equal to a. So therefore y is equal to f of a and then plus f prime of a times x minus a. So the linearization of f at x equals a is given by L of x equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. And here we say that our f of x, the function value at x, is approximately equal to this L of x when, when x is near a, so when x is close to a. Let's now go back to our three problems. Okay, first let's approximate the value of this one, 3e raised to 0 0.01 plus 2, cosine of 0 0.01 so since the value of x 
here is 0 0.01 which is close to 0 then we can use the linearization of the function f at a equals 0 or we also call it linear approximation at a equals 0 so let's use linear approximation linear approximation at a equal to 0 so in this case we have f of a equal to f of 0 so that is equal to 3 e raised to 0 is 1 and then plus 2 times cosine of 0 so that is 1 so that is 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 now let's find the slope of the tangent line at a so we have here f prime of x is equal to 3 e to the x and then minus 2 sine x so therefore f prime of a is equal to f prime of 0 so that is equal to 3 times e raised to 0 is 1 and then minus 2 times sine of 0 which is 0 so that is equal to 3 so our linearization okay at a equals 0 is given by l of x equal to again this is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a which is equal to our a is 0 so you have 5 plus 3 times x minus a so x minus 0 this is equal to 3x and then plus 5 so therefore we have this approximation f of x is approximately equal to l of x near a equals 0 or near x equals 0 so we can now use this fact since we are given an x which is close to 0 x is equal to 0 0.01 so we have here 3 times e raised to 0 0.01 plus 2 cosine of 0 0.01 so this is equal to f of 0 0.01 which is approximately equal to l of 0 0.01 which is equal to 3 times 0 0.01 and then plus 5 which is equal to 5.03 so this is our estimate to this function value next problem to approximate the function value at x equals 2.02 because this x value is close to 2 then we may use linear approximation at a equals 2 so let's use linear approximation linear approximation in this case uh, at a equals 2 we can also say linear approximation at x equals 2 so let's uh, compute first uh, function value at a so g of a so that is g of 2 which is equal to 2 times ln of 1 but ln of 1 is 0 so that is equal to 0 now let's find the slope of the tangent line so g prime of x here is equal to derivative of a product so you have your x times derivative of ln of x minus 1 so that is 1 over x minus 1 plus derivative of x is 1 times ln of x minus 1 and from here we can already compute for the slope of the tangent line so that is g prime of a or g prime of 2 which is equal to 2 over 2 minus 1 so that is 1 and then plus ln of 2 minus 1 so that is ln of 1 which is equal to 2 okay because ln of 1 is equal to 0 so therefore the linearization of our function g at a equals 2 is given by l of x equal to again g of 2 plus g prime of 2 and then times x minus 2 
and this is equal to 0, and then plus 2 times x minus 2, which is equal to 2x minus 4. So, therefore, our g of x can be approximated by L of x, which is 2x minus 4, when x is what? x is close to 2. So, when x is close to 2. Thus, we get the approximation for g of 2.02, .02, which is 2 times 2.02 minus 4, which is equal to 0 0.04. Now, you may use a calculator to check whether this value here is a good approximation of the function value at 2.02. .02. Let's move to our last problem. Let's derive this approximation here when epsilon is close to zero. This expression suggests that we may use the function f of x equals x to the n. And since when epsilon is close to zero, 1 plus epsilon is close to 1, then we should consider linearization of that function at a equals 1. So let's use linearization or the linear approximation. So use linearization of f of x equal to x to the n, in this case at a equals 1. So, if we compute the function value at a, so again, this is f of 1, which is equal to 1. And then, what is the slope of the tangent line? So, f prime of x is equal to n x to the n minus 1. And this will give us f prime of 1 is equal to n. So this means that our linearization, L of x, is given by, again, f of 1 plus f prime of 1 times x minus 1. And we can use this linearization when x is near 1. So again, let's plug in values for f of 1. So that is 1. f prime of 1 is equal to n times x minus 1. So therefore, our f of x is approximately equal to L of x, which is equal to 1 plus n times x minus 1. This is near x equals 1. Therefore, by setting x equal to 1 plus epsilon, so this is close to 1, when epsilon is close to 0, we get, so we obtain, in this case, 1 plus epsilon raised to n, which is equal to our f of x, is approximately equal to 1 plus n times 1 plus epsilon minus 1, so our x here, is equal to 1 plus epsilon. So we'll get here 1 plus epsilon minus 1, which is equal to 1 plus n times epsilon. So therefore, we can use this approximation when epsilon is close to 0.